What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to episode number 28 of my Rise to Fame Ultimate Team series. Uh, in the last episode guys, we were selling some players and opening some packs and we're pretty much doing the same again this time around. Uh, just discarding a load of the crap in my club. Um, if you have or have not realised by now, there are no injuries in Ultimate Team. Like, none. So all of those, all of those healing cards that I've got literally worthless i assume that ea are gonna fix fucking ice cream van fuck off i assume ea are gonna fix that issue in the near future so um if you want to make a quick buck if you've got a load of space in your trade pile and watch list but don't have many coins just go and buy as many uh f as many injury plus four cards as you can for 150 or 200 coins and then wait until they fix injury glitch, and then they'll be selling for six, seven hundred coins again. So you'll make yourself about three or four hundred coins per card, which cannot be complained about. So here we go, opening some packs, guys. That is a fantastic pack. Look at that, two silver players. What more can you ask for? You get Ruben Castro, absolutely sensational striker. He's actually not too bad, to be fair. I think he's got four-star skills, and he's got okay pace, okay shooting. But um, yeah, I mean, these these are the sort of packs that I love, you know, the ones where I get five contracts. Like, love that, love that. EA, thank you. Um, I never really get super pack luck, although I did get the informed Jabor in the last pack, and uh, that was that was nice, you know, that was nice. Uh, um, but uh, the thing is, I don't want those sort of players. I want players that are actually going to be worthwhile, you know. I want like a Robinho or a Pato. I'd love one of those two players, or I don't know, Rooney or something. Um, but no, it's never to be for me, unfortunately. I don't get those sort of good deals. As you can see here, just doing a little bit of a club maintenance to get rid of the stuffs. Because I can't use a lot of the stuff in here. Um, for this, Just for the simple fact that... Uh, I, 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 just, I just can't. I just, it's impossible, you know. You can only put 99 contracts on each player. I actually remember in FIFA 2009, uh, if you put... If you got someone to 99 contracts and then put another contract on them, look at that as well, two more silver players, and then put another contract on them, they would have like infinite contracts, they would just never go down, that was a pretty cool glitch. Um, but yeah, so these packs again guys, going super super well, uh, three more contracts, two more silver players, I do do like the manager 442 card, 442 is a formation I will definitely be using in the future, and a 442 card will be awesome, because then I can uh, put the manager... Put it on the manager that I so wish. Got another decent player there, Julio Cesar, but another silver. What is up with this? Look at all these contracts again. So many contracts. Got the uh, a, a, a duplicate player. Starting to get a lot of duplicate players now in the lower regions of the, the gold section. Sort of like 75 to, to 79. Getting a fair few duplicates of those. Although I can't imagine I've got even nearly as many players as there is in the game. So... Not really too sure why that's the deal. Open another pack there. Got a player called Douglas. What a fantastic surname. Uh, that guy's from Liga do Brazil. As far as I'm aware, he's got four-star skills. There's actually, I was looking at the five-star skill players list uh, yesterday or the day before when I was doing a bit of trading. And um, there's just a huge lack of five-star skill players, especially silvers. And... Um, there's there's just a huge growth in four star skill players like there, there's so many like I don't, I don't know it's it's strange to see so many people being able to do four star skills but so few people being able to do five star skills although i do think it's a lot more realistic that way so another fantastic pack here guys i, I can't believe the pack luck i'm getting N getting no informs in packs is what i live for you know really really enjoy those super packs and here we go again Another pack and boom, we get Hulk. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. The Hulk, the monster, the green machine, just brilliant. Four star skills, beast, beast of a shot. Absolutely incredible pace, nice strength. He will fit into no team that I've got because I've just sold my Russian league team. As you saw in the last episode, he would have been nice to have picked up like, you know, a, a day ago or so. I'm going to sneeze any second now, by the way, as well, guys. I can feel it coming. And I can't do anything about it. Um, but this this video, guys, you're probably going to be seeing this video around midday on Wednesday. I'm going to be doing a Ruin a Randomer today, uh, which should be pretty awesome. Um, but I've just got to sort out the players and stuff. And um, yeah, I'm going to be I'm going to do the first Ruin a Randomer on Xbox because I just don't have any players on PlayStation 3 other than what are in this Rise to Fame series, and I don't want to use these sort of uh, players on the on on. Ruin a randomer because you guys will know where I am in the Rise to Fame series. So I'm going to be borrowing some players off of Calfreezy to do a just do a, maybe I do a couple ruin randomers, maybe do a special episode 
for the 100th, uh, sorry, for the first episode of FIFA 13, excuse me, 100th, I wish. Got a long way to go to get to there. But yeah, I'm really excited to do Runa Random again, really excited to bring it back. And I'm going to start doing squad builders again as soon as I get some players and teams together. I've had some ideas of some pretty sick squads. I've got a few decent hybrids written down. I just can't afford the players, <laughs> which is a bit of a shame. Um, but eventually I will get around to doing some pretty sick uh, squad builders. Let me know, guys, if there's anything more you want out of um, this Rise to Fame series. I, I, I call it Rise to Fame in the video. I only call it like Ultimate Team Series outside of the video but let me know if there's anything you'd like added I can't really change the teams too often because I don't have the coins and stuff and I like once like I'm the sort of person that once I find a team that I like playing with I tend to just play a lot with them um, and like I said in the last well about three or four episodes ago this series is just about me showing you everything I do on ultimate team rather than an actual aim but here we go guys I sold a lot of these players made it again a little bit of profit on most of them Sold Felipe Santana there for 17,750. I got him for a bargain like 15,000. Still got a whole bunch of players to, to sell. As you can see in the top right though, guys, I've only got 10,400 coins because I have now bought the um, bought the team that I'm playing with. And there it is, guys. So we've got Adel Tarapt and uh, the, the, the whole team in general. We've got David De Gea. And the the centre-backs are Johan Juru, David Luiz and... Um, Eunice Kabul. You can see the prices, how much I bought them for. Just in the bottom right hand corner there, I bought Kabul for 7,000. David Luiz cost me 6,200. Um, Johan Juru, 2,000. And then the midfield is one of my favourite midfields I've ever used in any FIFA, to be honest with you. Javier Garcia, absolutely beast of a centre defensive midfielder from Man City, 3,900 coins. And Czech Teote, 6,000 coins. Really, really strong, really powerful, great defensive stats. Antonio Valencia on the right wing, don't like his weak foot at two stars, but the four star skills, can't really complain. And Alex Oxley chamberlain with the four star weak foot and the four star skill moves, only cost 6,300 coins. Stefan Sessegnon, eight and a half thousand coins, probably going to replace him with Adel Tarap though, because I want those five star skills in there. Then up front we've got Javier Hernandez, 13 and a half thousand coins, only three star skills, but super fast. And then Jubriel Sissi, who I aim to replace pretty quick, but for 2,700 coins, you've got four star weak foot, four star skill moves and 85 pace. You cannot complain about that. That's it's a really strong team, guys. Relatively cheap, but definitely really, really strong. I'm going to be changing a few players uh, in the near future just for some better, you know, better replacements. And uh, you guys should be excited for those sort of players because I've, I've got a really, really nice team coming up. So this is essentially a squad builder. I could have actually done a squad builder with this uh, with this team. Not that it's an amazing squad builder. But maybe once I get a full premiership team up, I'll do a squad builder from that with that. Um, we're coming to the end of the video now, though, guys. A like is always helpful. Really appreciate it when when my videos get you know super amounts of likes, especially with the sub boxes the way they've been recently. I can see like very clearly when sub boxes are buggered because I take a massive hit in views, literally like from like forty to fifty thousand a video down to like twenty thousand a video, um, which is pretty uh, pretty shitty. But you know can't really do anything about that. I'm afraid. But all the support and all the sharing and stuff that we get is uh, very, very appreciated. But this is the end, guys, so thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Cheers. Put in the comment section what you think about my team. Yeah. This is going to be one of three videos today. Well, this is going to be two of three videos today. If you want to check out the other videos, there is a link to the playlist in the description for the rest of this series. Or if you want to just check out the previous episode, uh, there'll be a link in the bottom left-hand corner. And if you're watching this when there's been a future episode out, if you want to check out one of the future episodes, there'll be a link in the bottom right-hand corner. Um, as you can see, guys, though, just listing these players, I actually went to the uh, Ultimate Team database just to have a look at how much they're all worth. So I discarded the ones that weren't worth anything and listed the ones.